And if you are if you in tune to that type of stuff, just a touchable yeah. person can tell you can you can get a vibe from them, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You feel comfortable, you don't feel comfortable, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just certain people you fuck with and some people you don't yeah. fuck with, you know what so, I mean? So like how many people in the room like you talk to somebody you may be interested in, you talk to them, the energy don't feel as in tune. Man, but then when oh, you mean, you next, next, huh? Next. No, it's not. But, but, so it, it depends though, because sometimes mm -hmm. I could encounter a person and they're just like, maybe they had too much to drink. There's been times like that when I've encountered an individual mm -hmm. and they were just fucked up or maybe they just had a bad day or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. So I try to give them more than, you know, benefit one chance. Mm -hmm. So yeah, benefit of the doubt. So maybe so, two or three times and then. So, so let me ask you, so if a dude was talking and he fucked up the first time, you give him another chance? I just give him another chance. Oh, depending depending on the we're situation. Yeah, yeah okay. we don't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Got to, you know. It's a, everybody, it's three different people out here, man. <laughs> it's who you think you are, who people think you are, who you really are. Mm. You know what I mean? So, who are you? And most people on that oil <laughs> shit is a different person. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so, that's, so do y'all believe when you drink, that's the real person that comes out? Some people say that. I don't believe that. I believe that's not, I think it depends on, the thing with the drink or whatever is getting a little bit off topic, but what you're doing is, man, it's bringing out your emotion at that moment. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So if you sad, you're gonna be more depressed. Mm -hmm. If you excited, you're gonna be more excited. Mm -hmm. If you wanna fight a nigga, you gonna you probably get your ass whooped because soon you get hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you slump. You get what I'm, but you get what I'm saying? So I don't feel like the drink is the uh, the real person or whatever. I feel like the real person is sober and angry. Angry. Yeah. Sober and angry. That's real, that's real emotions right there. That's the real person. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. When you pissed off, mm -hmm. that's and you're sober. That's a that's a raw emotion. So fuck what somebody got to say on that drink. If they sober and they pissed off and they say fuck you, they mean that exactly. shit. My nigga. Stay away from it. So that's on topic, so no no no. And <laughs> hey, we always on topic. Stay woke, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so so we talk about booty eating you mad. Oh eat. shit. Bro. No 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 no. no, no. <laughs> keep it, keep it. I'm gonna be in the go ahead. So we talk about we talk about if a person is interested. So how do you know if a person is ready to be serious with you? I think I say when they one one sign is when they introduce you to their family or they tell their parents about you. That's a little bit so. far down the line. Y'all agree with that? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I don't agree with it. No, huh? I don't tell my mom about everybody's shit. Well, you shouldn't. But it, by the time. Yeah, you, mom fucking this bitch. By the time you introduce you introduce them to your parents, man, like, y'all established by that point. Mm -hmm. So, but, some niggas, but the question that you okay. ask, like, when you know it's serious, I say it's serious when I'm willing to cut off everybody else I'm fucking with. Mm. Yeah, that. True. true and boy, if I'm willing to cut off everybody, you fuck me up. I gotta have a lifeline. Hey, yeah, this shit ain't work out. What's up? You gotta have that. Mm -hmm. When that trust is in play, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 steps, man. It's levels to every goddamn thing. You know what I mean. So yeah, when the niggas cut teeth, you know, you know, I don't give a fuck what nobody <laughs> say. Whenever you initially meet somebody, everybody talking to somebody. Let's yeah. just be let's just be one hundred with this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody talking to somebody, but if I find my main line or whatever, as I did. You know what I'm saying? And systematically removing all these distractions, mm -hmm. but now I can get 100%. That's mm -hmm. when you know it's real. So let me, let me ask you, I think it's a better question. What qualities in a person will make you think, like, I, I want to be serious with this person. I want, I want you to be, I want to be serious with you. Like, what separates, what qualities in a person can separate them from the rest? So individual uh, perspective. Everybody got their own thing. Man, they ain't your turn to talk. Let her talk. Yeah. <laughs> Stay focused, brother. Stay focused. Get that shit out, man. Hey, stay focused, man. Stay focused on the show. Stay focused. Um, well, who's, who's your right, though? So, you are right. It's individual perspective. I know, like, I have my girl. You know, she likes when dudes are just all in, you know, all eyes on her. They spend every free moment they have with her. With me, I need to know that you can have a life when I'm not around. Like, I'm just not, like, I don't want to be somebody's own world. Mm. Like, um, I've been in a relationship like that where mm -hmm. the person was infatuated and it was to the point where it's like, if I even went to the, like, movies with my homegirls, like, he would get upset. So, like, I don't oh, want man. somebody like that. It's possessive, yeah. man. It's yeah. 
Crazy nigga. Yeah, so yeah, he looks crazy. I mean, he's a sweet guy. He just has some issues. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with me, I love my alone time. Like, mm -hmm. I need my alone time. Because, like, throughout the day, you know, everybody's asking for something. So when I get home, I just want to be alone. Yeah, yeah. I need someone to understand that, that damn, just because she's not answering my text or she's not, you know, um, trying to come over, that she's not, you know, ignoring me. Yeah, yeah. You know, she just wants her alone time. Yeah, we all do. Yeah, I like my alone time. I, I like play with myself sometimes. So, I mean, <laughs> but to me, like, I told you we get ignorant on this. I see. I'm just ignorant on this <laughs> But, um, so for me, like, I need somebody who can, you know, be by himself for a little bit, and then mm -hmm. when we come together, then I make up for that time that we spend alone. Mm. So, that's a good shit she's talking about. Good about you. <laughs> uh, man, I was told to shut up, nah. Nah, 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 but nah, I agree with her too, man. You know, um, like uh, it was the one song I don't know who sung, but it said I miss the feeling of you missing me. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. when you uh, up under somebody all the time, you know what I mean? You don't really get that. Mm -hmm. You kind of get to know it a little bit. You know yes. what I mean? So damn, yeah, but you still alive? Shit. Well, I didn't say go that far. So <laughs> like, <laughs> but you know, even uh, many a lot of people say that same thing. Like you need space. And space ain't to fuck off or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. It's just like, yo, I need some me time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just chill. Mm -hmm. So I agree with her on that. All right. And I'll, I'll, hush, I'll hush my nigga lips, yeah. as the crowd <laughs> told me to do. <laughs> <laughs> so so <laughs> we're going to move. That's what I'm saying. How you doing? Keep it on <laughs> So the next time. I don't want chicken wing, bro. The next time. Nigga, go ahead and eat that shit. Nigga, go ahead Y'all want to yeah, eat this shit when we, now we can eat while we doing this show. Yeah, it's more on TV, yeah, guys. Damn, we on Simpsons. That is too hot. I ain't say get off camera, but uh, <laughs> somebody pause here. <laughs> All right, so the next topic. Um, when dating, now you good. Bloopers and shit. When you dating a single parent, what is some things to keep in mind? I keep in mind, I mean, it, it's only happened like once or twice, but um, mm -hmm. I keep in mind that their child is priority. Exactly. And awesome. if they do not treat their child as a priority, then that's a sign to me. Mm. That if, he, if their child's not priority, then who the hell am I? Mm. So that's how I look at that. So it's a turn off if somebody puts you priority over there. Oh, girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it is. Assuming the child is a priority, how do you act then? If the child is a priority, then I mean, you know, whenever they have time, then I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you know, then that's my time. But um, I'm not a selfish person. Like I understand that, you know, I'm not the number one on everybody's list. Mm -hmm. I think if anybody acts that way, then mm -hmm. selfish. That's, yeah, selfish and deeper issues. What if the nigga don't fuck with his kid? That's that's cool too. Hell no. Yeah, I mean, like you don't fuck with like the baby mom. It's like, no, you can't have these kids this weekend. Or I'm gonna get it rattled. <laughs> That was just a little boy. Uh, I mean, I'm like, no, <laughs> man, hold on, man. Yeah, like, y'all fuck with these kids and I mean, I'm more receptive to being, mm -hmm. I'm more receptive to, uh, it's a different because you're talking about single parent, but well, obviously the majority of single parents is women, you know what I mean? So, obviously I'm going to be receptive and open to that, you know what I'm saying? Because I have kids and, mm -hmm. and you know, Depending on that, I'm gonna tell you what's gonna be a write off though, man. Well, it used to be a write off, I would say. Was if she don't discipline that damn child, man. I ain't gonna deal with no bad ass kids, yeah. man. I already got mine. You, talk, that's actually you know what I'm saying? Right. They, yeah. The kid, if she, if she ain't got no control over mm -hmm. that, or if the baby daddy too involved in life, whatever mm -hmm. it seem like, maybe y'all should just work it out. Mm -hmm. I go ahead and take out, man. So, I'm, you brought up a good point. So, one thing for me personally, I gotta realize I'm not priority. So when I'm talking to a, a single mom or some shit, cause I like my attention, but sometimes I have to remind myself I'm talking to a single mom, she got a kid and shit. She like, oh, I gotta do this, I'm like, cool. You know, I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm serious, pull up mode right now. I'm gonna be eating in a minute. But uh, I, done, I done had some ain't shit bitches that ain't take care of the kids and put them priority. 
They trash. Yeah, they trash. Yeah, trash, trash can't hear for real. Leaving the kids, going to the club every Saturday. Yeah, Friday, yeah. Friday, fucking off and shit like that. Mm -hmm. My mama already raised you, now she gotta raise yours. Mm -hmm. That's weak. For real. That's some real shit. I feel like, like cause this, I'm, I've been, I'm a single dad. I've been a single dad before. I done had my kids, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Doing it on my own and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And that's why I respect women who do that shit. Mm -hmm. Cause you don't realize how difficult it is, man. You mm -hmm. know? You can't so, trust no women that don't raise your kids, though. Yeah, you yeah, definitely exactly. can, man. Nah, you man. can, man. I don't know. And any woman that I dealt with during that time period when I had all my kids or whatever, when I was going through, when they was going through whatever, you know, every woman that I dealt with at that time, um, understood, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like they gonna be number one, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Simple as that. But that's also, you know, the single parent, like if you have, you're talking to somebody and you have an individual that does not understand that your kid's priority, I mean, that's like a flag for them too. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. this motherfucker doesn't understand that, you know, you know, I'm the only, you know, person taking care of my child and they're still, mm -hmm. you know, they want all these demands and demand, they're demanding time with me, mm -hmm. but, Again, they don't understand that I have a you know whole kid to look after, yeah. look after. Mm -hmm. So again, it's like the man that maybe it's an individual that they don't want to fuck with mm -hmm. because if they're not even willing to you know just like understand that even though they don't have any kids, they need to understand that hey, I am a single parent and have somebody that I'm obligated to take care of. Mm -hmm. So maybe it works you know both ways. Single moms got the best pussy. I heard that. Facts. <laughs> it's been confirmed. <laughs> Why you say that? Why you say that though? It's something about that pain with the daddy not being around and transfer to the pussy. <laughs> she take it out on you in the bedroom and shit. This is his show, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Speak to it, dog. The viewers, the viewers that watch this shit, like, oh, let's get this in. This nigga ignorant. Now you ain't having this. But not so. Huh? Not yet. No, I can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. Everybody got good food. What? What? <laughs> no, I don't like one of those. Yeah. There's some chicks out here, boy. This shit. <laughs> pussy ain't just pussy, man. Hey. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> I know we're going on top of but I want to let some chicks know everybody ain't got good pussy. I know you want to brag about your shit, but... That <laughs> yeah, nigga ain't got good dick either. No, shit. but I think I have a girl that's yeah, bragging about that. Maybe it's not. I'm going to brag about it. Like, like, if a girl's up there bragging about it, like, it probably is trash. Like, why exactly. Why are you gonna brag about this shit? Exactly. If she quiet, if she humble, that's what you need to watch out for. I say like that everybody ain't got good sex. And some people ain't just gonna don't vibe when it comes to it. Just, exactly. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? What's, what's good for the goose? May not be good for the gambler, you know what I'm saying? That shit happened to me before, too. Yo. It happened to me before. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got sick in the real. <laughs> so, um, we were real cool, real cool, you know, friends or whatever. And one day, uh, he invited me over and. Mm -hmm. Netflix. Candy came off nose from Netflix. Netflix, no. Netflix wasn't that popular. Right? Y'all had a projector. So, uh, <laughs> you know, we got to it and it was just. Nothing. There was no type of connection whatsoever. Mm. And like he would be like, "Hey, you want to do?" No, I'm good. Like, you good? Yeah, so I don't want to do that. Mm. And then like I was tempted after we were done to get up and just leave, but I was just like, "I'm rude." So I'm like, "I'll spend the night." But the next morning I was gone like, like it just wasn't there. Mm. And I mean, I'm not saying that you know he's a you know like, was a bad guy because I think later on. My whole ass homegirl started fucking him and they was, you know. You say your, your whole ass homegirl? Yes. Your whole ass homegirl started fucking him. Sure. And, and they was like fucking daily. So it was Damn. just. The, it was good for her. Yeah. 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 It was just a connection. It, it just shit. wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, me and him, like, we're still cool. Mm -hmm. But it's just that, I mean, he, well, we were both mature. So I mean, we just knew that it just wasn't nothing there. Mm. And we even know. talked about it like a day or two later. It's just like, yeah, it's just nothing there. So I know this is off top. I know this is part of the script. But can you be friends with someone? Like, can you be just friends with somebody you fucking? Yes, absolutely. 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 Yeah. But you gotta be in the same mindset, yeah. though, man. I think you gotta be in the same mindset, though, man. Because there's some girls out there too emotional, and there's some dudes out there too emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was about to say. It, it's more frequent for a dude to be okay with that yeah. than the chick, but it goes both ways. No, I feel like it just takes time. 
I think it has no, to be established in the beginning. Not and then not. also, well, I just depend on the status. Both yeah. individuals, you have to realize that is this somebody that you could potentially see yourself in the future with? If the answer is no, then mm -hmm. you guys need to keep that shit as fast. There's no need in going through all the rigmarole or trying to make a relationship and shit like that. You guys end up just breaking up. I so you really need to look at this individual. Like, is this somebody I can see myself with in the future? If the answer is no, but how many women think that for us? I can't speak on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I go speak for myself. Women think far, 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 far ahead, man. I think, I think, women, I think women, women think it way far ahead right. than we do. They're already thinking okay. about like after this house. Okay. Okay. But, but, but you he's think right about though. having kids with me, I ain't going to be there. Right, but he's right though. A lot of women don't, they don't think in that perspective. You know, they just think that, hey, eventually I want to get married one day. Mm -hmm. But they don't really sit down. Sometimes I think that it's like, yeah, you know, I really feel this guy. He's cute or, you know, he makes me laugh. And um, they don't really think about, damn, is this a guy that you know I can grow with? Is he gonna support me, you know, through all my goals? Um, if I start a business, is he gonna be there, you know, supporting? Is he, yeah, is he gonna help me collect with my, um, you know, yeah, is he gonna um, help me with my credit? Can he, you know, um, help me manage my money? Does he have good, you know, money management skills? So a lot of things that you gotta consider yeah. because you like you sit here and say, you know, when they say you lay with dogs, you catch fleas. So you got to see who he hanging around with, what his ambitions is, what her ambitions is. You know, that's, what I'm that's thinking too far ahead, man. Like love, 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 just, love that's what that's on, man. Like no, no, I'm talking and everything else. What I'm talking about in that aspect, I'm talking about this is the getting to know person stage. Uh -huh. This is where it's going to stop us dead in our tracks and keep us from going forward. You know what right. I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? If I if I match your ass some shit, if it's, it, it, it could be a deal breaker on the pro on progress to get where. You try to get in a mono, uh, emotional, uh, stable, stable relationship, right? Right. There's, yeah. there's, no, there's so, no emotional, stable relationship ever, though. But it is between two people, and it, it includes cutting people off. It includes knowing their finances, it includes what their goals is and stuff like that. It includes if you got a baby daddy, is a nigga loco? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, I'm serious, bro. Or same thing. Or same thing. Am, am I? Am I? How my baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? How, how do we communicate? It's a lot of factors that's involved. If her baby daddy oh, crazy, right. that puts it good. <laughs> nah, he, he might crazy be crazy for a reason. He crazy yeah. for a reason. He might be the whole background child. It's a lot of shit that go when you talk about emotions. Now, you just talking about fucking. Mm -hmm. Man, anybody can do that shit. Animals do that. I seen two bees fucking all the way up in the <laughs> 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 Hey, shout out to whoever made these wings. Yeah. These wings good. I, mean, shit. I think, yeah, people well, can. The one I have no blood right now, no, that's okay. Well, I don't think they choose to do that. I think that some people just like, damn, the dick is good. You know, I think I, you know, like him. Then it gets to the point where I guess he hits that spot. She's like, damn, you know, I think I love him or whatever. They confuse mm -hmm. sex with, yeah. with, 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 with love. Yeah. Just, yeah. Because of, just because a motherfucker says good don't mean y'all make good shit. Yeah. It's a lot of factors, man. A lot of people rush into the shit. You know what I'm saying? And. It's a lot of it's a lot of factors to it, especially this day and age. She, you know, our folks ain't have to worry about it. She went all this social media and these damn electronic leashes, getting everybody fucked Where up and feel like we, shit. and feel like they gotta record everything. If you was talking to your woman, you was talking to her face to face. I bet you had to write a goddamn letter, and that bit might not get to her. Shit, you know what I mean? And vice versa. Mm -hmm. So it's different times, man. So you have to adapt with the times. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate because we in that generation where we grew up without the shit, but now we of age with the shit. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? So yeah. it's like, mm -hmm. which way do we go? Which way do we go, you know? So I know what my dad was a hoe, because you can never get caught on social media. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Goddamn. You know? All right, so. That was a weird topic, man. That got a little weird. No, nah, no, nah, we definitely got off topic. But what up, dog? Uh, what's going on, man? Get that cheese grease out your damn mustache. <laughs> <laughs> So the next, uh, man, what? What? Man, throw that bird back in the grill, man. Yeah, you start breaking out your fingers. That greasy as fuck. That bird a little red, dog. We're gonna follow. We're gonna go on break. We're going on break. Yeah.